Hello and welcome to Goblins and Aliens. In this video, I'll show you how I painted the Tyranid Termagants in the High Fleet Typhon colour scheme, also known as the Cassowaries. I started off by priming the model black using Colour Forge Spray Primer, then Tempest Blue and Vampire Violet from two opposite angles to give it some colour variation. After priming, it's time to start blocking in some colours. First I'm using Vallejo model colour, dark sea green, mixed ever so slightly with black, and this goes along all the carapace, the hooves, the claws, and his weapon. Moving on to the arms, legs, and tail, I'm using Vallejo game colour, abyssal turquoise. Mapping out where I would like to see a colour transition between the dark and the light blue. I'm using Vallejo game colour, Ghost Green. Finishing off the colour blocking, I'm using Vallejo model colour, Black Red slightly thinned to glaze it over the hooves, claws and the back of the head. With the colour block in finish, we are now in the ugly stage. It's time to smarten things up. On to my favourite part. Mix in a glaze of deep sea green and ghost green. I pull the paint from the bright to the dark, then the dark to the bright. This creates a mid-mix. With this done, I use a very thin glaze of ghost green, pulling the paint from the mid out to the bright, then the same with deep sea green, pull it from the mix out to the dark. This should then smooth down the transition. For the weapon I use a thin glaze of black red, starting off at the back to the tip, then covering less after each coat dries. To help the glaze I do the same with the original dark paint thinned down and do it in reverse. I repeat the same process using deep sea green on the carapace, mixed ever so slightly with dead white. To finish up the smaller details like the teeth and eyes, I start off using Vallejo model colour Japanese uniform World War II, basing each of the tiny details, then mixing in some ice yellow, brightening her up and slowly adding the tiniest, tiniest little bits of paint. After this, you can go forward and do edge highlighting all over or leave it as it is. Here is my finished model. This isn't display quality, nor is it speed painting or batch painting, but it is a tabletop standard that I'm proud of. When these cassowaries are all grouped together, they're gonna look great. Thank you for watching. If you have found any value in this video, it would mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe and even share it with friends. Take care and see you in the next video.